We are at Bergdahl House Museum in Westville. It became a museum because it's the oldest house in Westville, the oldest building in Westville. It was built in the 1840s and it had been declared a national monument. So this um, museum would obviously give you the history of uh, Westville and surrounding communities. In the side that represents this museum as a house, we have the bedroom, the kitchen and the dairy room. Like in the kitchen, for instance, we had things that were used for processing food and in the dairy room also farming equipment and also stuff that were used to process dairy products. So when you look at that, you can see how technology has evolved. We have a section uh, where we now have the, the cross from the Clement Church. Uh, that section uh, was the original structure. We've added an exhibition based on archaeological findings. And that part represents like the prehistory of Westville because based on documents, it seemed that the German settlers were the first people to occupy this land. Whereas archeologists were able to prove that there have been people living in the area much earlier than that. So we have added that exhibition to represent a different aspect of the, the story of Westville. Yes, as much as this is as a, as a house museum and some people, you know, feel like house museums all look the same, so why come here? But as I mentioned that we had, uh, we added an exhibition that talks about a different part, things, something that you don't normally find in a house museum. And also it's very interesting to learn about different aspects of history because each uh, different museum represents different aspects of history. So if you want to know more about baseball and its surrounding communities, this is the museum to come to. Clement is a beautiful place, first and foremost. We've got beautiful culture, we've got everybody coming from different cities and different towns, starting from the food, starting the, to the drinks and the activities that we have. The main street is called Clement Road, and we also have this called Zaza Street, which has all the restaurants that you can think of from your traditional restaurants. That is more different because you mingle with people, you are around with people, whoever you want to talk to, you talk to. There's no separation. We are one, actually. We have one guy called Tammy. He does a very unique African art, which is an based in, in his home. He's actually working from home, but his work is very beautiful because it's naturally based. He just does everything from his house and he sells it. That's how he makes a living, which is very awesome to visit. When you visit Clement, the unique thing about it is that we've got different cultures, we've got different vibes, but we are all united. Lady Smith Black Mambazo started in 1960. It was a group formed by Ubabu Shabalala who came to Clement a long time ago to work. The group started in Clement. We are going to be developing the Lady Smith Black Mambazo Museum because we are recognizing history. Right now, that's history for us. Lady Smith Black Mambazo, Mr. Shabalala came here to work and he formed the group in Clement, not anywhere else but in Clement. So we really have to appreciate that and make that as uh, one of our tourist attractions as well, because it's history for us. It's history for everybody else. Atila tila makoti, oh no no. Atila tila makoti, oh no no. Atila tila makoti.